are two sisters who believe that the purpose of life is to enjoy, create, and have fun. We believe that as humans, we can have anything we want, and things are always working out for us. Experience has taught us that the path to getting everything we want begins with ease. If you believe in miracles and happily ever after, or even if you just want to, then this is the podcast for you. Hey, Adrian, it's so good to see you. Hi, how are you? Good. It's only been a week, but I've missed you. Yeah, feels like a lot's happened. Yeah. Did you have a good week? I did. Yes, thanks. Awesome. It was great. What about you? My week was good. It, it flew by. It's nice to be on the weekend, though. I really appreciate weekends. So it gives us an opportunity to record. But um, for our listeners, you probably haven't missed us because you might be listening to these episodes back to back. But it's been about a week since Adria and I have recorded. Um, episode one, we were in person, and now we're in two separate states and trying to figure out all of the technology of doing this remotely. And <laughs> we're sure learning a lot. But Adria, before we jump into our topic for episode two, I would like to go back and revisit our conversation from episode one, where we encouraged listeners to choose a theme for the year. And we did give a few different examples of words that we've used in the past or words that they could choose from, but I think we could have done a little bit better job. So I really would just like to jump in and give a couple more options so that we can get people's wheels spinning about maybe something that could be their theme for the year. So again, we recommend when choosing your theme to focus on what would you like this year to look like? What would you like to change from last year? Where? What are your goals? Where are you wanting to go? And try and select one single word that represents that. So Adria, I have a list um, of quite a few different options. I'm just going to read off of a few of them for our listeners. And if you can think of anything else, feel free to, to jump in. But um, some different okay. ideas would be balance, grateful compassion, confidence, kindness, faith, strength, survivor, unbreakable, warrior, um, patience, courage, blessed, brave. Um, There are just so, so many different words, even family. Um, Can you think of anything that we didn't mention that would make a great theme? Um, two that come to mind for me are honor, and I think that could mean different things for different people, and truth. I love that. Perfect. So I want to remind our listeners about our giveaway, because if you download and subscribe and then leave us a review every single week this year, we will choose at random, it'll be a drawing, we'll choose someone that has left us a review will get a bracelet from us that will have your word for the year, your theme imprinted on the bracelet. And Adria, I just purchased the kit to make those and they're actually bracelets from myintent.org. So those of you that would like to see what the bracelets look like, we will have a copy of them up on our website, but you also could check them out on myintent.org. You could buy your own or you could leave us a review. And like we said, one person every week will be selected to receive a bracelet. We'll ship it to you. And um, yeah, so let us know. It doesn't even have to be five stars. You could give us a one-star review and you could (laughs) still be selected. But we do prefer yes, good reviews, right? right? <laughs> so, Adria, we um, welcome the feedback. We do welcome feedback. We want to hear from you. Leave us comments. In fact, you can leave us comments, give us suggestions, ask us questions right from our website. We have a contact us button. So, our website is attractitwithease.com. So, let's jump into episode two, Adria, and let's start out by talking about what we're grateful for. So, Adria, tell me some things that you've got going on or that you are focused on that you're grateful for right now. I have given this a lot of thought the last few days, and obviously, I have so many things to be grateful for. I think we all do. I'm especially grateful for my family. 
to me that means, I mean, I'm grateful for every family member, but lately it's been on my mind a lot how grateful I am for my sisters and for my children. I'm very, very grateful for my health and for the time and place in which I live, that I just have so many things that make life more comfortable than it might otherwise be. Oh, I love that last one. I mean, they were all good things, but I feel like the last thing you said is something that I forget to be grateful for. Sometimes it's easy to be grateful for my morning coffee or to be (laughs) grateful that the sun is shining or every time I get to see the sunset, I feel so grateful. And I feel like those things are super easy to, you know, find space in your heart to say thank you. But it's the stuff where you dig a little bit deeper. And you're right. We live in an amazing time and we have all kinds of great tools and resources and things at our fingertips. Can you imagine if we were living 100 or 200 years ago and how different life would be? We wouldn't be podcasting. (laughs) For sure. I often think how grateful I am just for hot showers because I have traveled to places where there was no you know, where it was a cold shower if you took a shower. So that is a good one. I'll tell you what, living in a tiny house, that's something I absolutely appreciate. And (laughs) along with a hot shower, I appreciate a shower that has really good water pressure. (laughs) That's something else that you could totally take for granted. So I, I want us to start every episode talking about gratitude, but that's actually the topic of today's episode. Today's episode is all about the power of gratitude. So, Adria, let's talk about why gratitude even is a piece of the law of attraction. Um, Give me your thoughts as to how it fits in with trying to bring positive things into your life. For me, gratitude helps me to recognize what I've attracted so far, and it helps it's helpful to focus on the positive. I think it's easy sometimes for me. I mean, I'm new at all this, so it's very easy for me to slip into um, the mindset sometimes of, that I don't have what I want. You know, am I going to be able to get what I want? And when the focus is on gratitude, that kind of changes things. That's my guess. It's <laughs> a good guess. Oh, good. There's, <laughs> there's actually a lot of, of ways that, that gratitude fits in with the law of attraction. Um, if we just get right down to the nitty gritty basics of what the law of attraction is. It's essentially you get what you put out, right? What you put out is returned to you like a boomerang. That is what the law is. And some people refer to that as karma. Some people um, just talk about the power of positive thinking. There's different ways that that can be viewed, but what you put out is what's going to be returned to you. What you focus on, what you think about, the words that you say, those things go out into the universe and it meets its match. So if we have positive thoughts, we're going to have those returned with more positivity in our life. We are attracting more good things. So gratitude by simply saying, hey, I am so grateful for this and I am so grateful for that. And I really appreciate this, this, and this. Not only does it reaffirm those things where hopefully we will be able to keep those things in our lives, but it brings more goodness to our life as well. And like you said, oh man, it sure feels good. I I can tell you that I can be in the worst mood. And if I can force myself, and I say force because sometimes it is like making yourself do it. But if I can force myself to think about some things that I'm grateful for, it always shifts my energy. It always changes my mood. And it takes me from being in a negative space to being in a positive space. So let's talk a little bit about gratitude. You know, it's like I mentioned earlier, it's really easy to find some things to constantly be grateful for. You you could be grateful for your health when the whole world is struggling from a pandemic, right? You could be Mm -hmm. grateful for your warm bed every morning when you have to get out of it and you don't want to, you can just, or on the weekend when you get to sleep in, you could just be so grateful. Oh, I'm so grateful. I get to lay in bed a little bit longer and I don't have to wake up to my alarm. You know, those sorts of things just come easy. It feels natural to just be like, oh, I love this. 
sometimes, you know, you have just a really great experience with a loved one and you're just in the moment, just so appreciative or just laughing your butt off and saying, this is so awesome. And you wish it would never end. And those kinds of things, it's really easy to say thank you or in your mind to be like, I, I really enjoyed that. I really appreciate that. But Let's talk about how we can kind of extend beyond that, because if I asked the average listener to come up with, say, 10 things to be grateful for, they could probably rattle off 10 pretty easily. But if I asked our listeners to come up with 100 things, and don't worry, I'm not going to ask that. But if, I asked, if I did ask them to come up with 100 things they were grateful for, most people would probably struggle somewhere around like... 50, 60 range, you know, you can rattle off uh, quite a few things right off the top of your head, but like really digging in and being grateful for the things that we kind of take for granted or don't think about is, is something that I think is important and valuable to focus on. So give me your thoughts, Adria, on how, how can you kind of dig a little bit deeper and find more, more goodness in life to, to express gratitude for? Well, I think part of it is not taking those things for granted. You talked about like being grateful for the sun every single morning. And that's something that I just take for granted. You know, it's always there. And I don't know that it would occur to me normally right off the bat to be grateful for that. So I think that that can be a part of it. Absolutely. You know, um, in the years that I have studied the law of attraction, there are a lot of resources and people that have strongly influenced my life and my view about how the world works. And one person in general that doesn't really talk about the law of attraction as the law of attraction, but I know lives and breathes it and uses it to his advantage is Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins... (sighs) I I have done so many of his different series and programs, but I have one of his tape series and one of the um, tracks is Mm -hmm. specifically on gratitude. And he talks about being able to kind of start, start thinking about your gratitude with yourself and then circle out from yourself to other things. And I think you can literally close your mind and start to think of, you know, things about your body or things about um, your health or things about, it could be the way that you look. It could be the, the talents that you have. It could be the pieces of your personality that make you different from someone else that if you really took a few minutes and thought about it, you could express gratitude for, and you probably really are grateful for, but maybe you just don't really think about it all that often. Um, I'll tell you that one thing that I often make a point to mentally say thank you for is my strong Mm -hmm. mind. And I don't know where I picked that up, but it's probably something that drives other people crazy about me because I am (laughs) a very strong personality, but um, it's something that I feel is specific to me. I feel like I have the ability to work through challenges on my own. I feel like I have the ability to turn my my emotions around when I recognize that I'm not feeling the way that I want to. I, I am very resourceful. And I wrap all of that up into that I have a really strong mind. I don't know that everyone has the ability to overcome some of the things that I've been able to overcome. And it's nothing about anybody else. It's just that I really appreciate that part of myself and my personality and that I was blessed with that because it's something that I take advantage of constantly. And so I try and express gratitude for that as well. Um, tell me something like that about you or your, your personality or your gifts that, that you're grateful for. Well, I love, I love what you said. I think that's just so awesome. Uh, something that comes to mind for me is just my compassion. I'm extremely compassionate and um, I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm an empath, but I have a gift for being able to see the other person's point of view and being able to often to sense what another person needs and assist them in that way. And yeah, I'm, I am, I'm really grateful for that. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing. And I would agree. You are you're definitely compassionate in a way that 
that I'm not. I'm probably callous in comparison. <laughs> but no, I think no, not at all. I think it's important to recognize those personality traits about ourselves and find things in ourselves to say, you know what, I am a good person and I am blessed with a lot of gifts. And there's things that day to day things that we take for granted. Somewhere I heard someone say, I'm grateful for. Go ahead. I was just going to say, everyone has those qualities. Like they vary from person to person, but everybody has some really, really good qualities at their core that makes them who they are. I, you're absolutely right. And I think most of us don't take the time to focus on those things. I think we are raised in a world where we're trained to pick ourselves apart and nitpick and tell us, tell ourselves we're not good enough and we need to look different. We need to feel different. We need to act different. We need to dress different. You know, we live in a society where we're raised to believe that if you say positive things about yourself, that you are arrogant and egotistical and that those are negative. And really we should be sitting around thinking about how wonderful we are and how blessed our friends and our family and our loved ones are to have us in their lives because there's only one of us. I just told Adria last week, you guys, we are limited editions and we are, there's only one of you. (laughs) So figure out what makes you special and what makes you shine and spend some time recognizing that it not only will make you feel good, but it will bring more goodness into your life. So I guess, you know, I've been thinking a little bit about what I kind of started saying with Tony Robbins and him saying circling from yourself and working outwards. And I remember Adria years ago, we had a family therapist who talked to us about um, being able to relax. And I really have no idea what this has to do with anything other than that we're talking about, but it's the visual that I have with this Tony Robbins thing. So this will connect. But I remember the therapist saying, like, if you're trying to relax, lay down, close your eyes, start at your toes and literally go from your toes all the way up, working up your body, trying to relax different pieces of your body. Mm-hmm. And you know, relax your big toes and feel the muscles, you know, kind of melt away and just try and ease into that state of relaxation and relax the soles of your feet. And, you know, you work up your body from your ankles to your, to your calves, to your knees and whatever. And I remember as a child practicing this and it usually would make me fall asleep. I never made it all the way to my head, not a single time. (laughs) It definitely made me feel relaxed. But when I think of that concept, I also think about this idea that Tony Robbins talks about of starting with yourself and circling out because all of those body parts and all of those pieces are things that we can be grateful for. You know, do you have 10 toes? Do you have feet that help you stand? You know, a lot of people are on their feet all day at work and just the fact that you can work a job and be on your feet all day and not come home, you know, in crippling pain from that. There's people out there that don't have that ability. Um, It could be, you know, your, your rear, (laughs) maybe you're grateful for it because you like the way that it looks, but guess what? It also serves a purpose. So just being able to sit down, you know, there's so many things that we have the ability to do that it takes the shift off of, Oh, you know, I've got these, these crow's feet coming in and I'm looking so aged or, Oh, I really would like to lose 10 pounds or I really wish my hair would grow. There's that's the tendency that we have as humans is to focus on those negative things when really there's so many positive things, so much more positive that we could be focusing on instead that would sure make us feel better about ourselves. But I think of that thought of like, what if you just closed your eyes and pictured your body and just moved up your body and found something to be grateful for, for each piece? You know, I remember, I, maybe it was grandma, but it was probably mom. But I remember someone at a young age telling me that I needed to be grateful that I had skinny ankles. And I've never (laughs) really thought that that was something to like actually, 
give any thought to, but, and for those listeners that don't have skinny ankles, I promise you, you have something that I don't, but I do have (laughs) small ankles and it's, it is something that I, I consciously think about, you know, um, I love it. Mom had eyebrows that you could barely see they were blonde and she'd have to draw them in just to be able to see them on her face and once dad pointed out to me like Kayla you have nice eyebrows and I actually was kind of offended by the compliment because I felt like he could have given me a better compliment (laughs) right like but who knew the eyebrows would be such (laughs) a big angle that's right eyebrows are where it's at right seriously I even know a girl that has alopecia and she's missing one eyebrow So she has an eyebrow, but she only has one. And I feel sorry for her, not because there's anything wrong with that, but because anything that's out of the norm is something that we then can find ways to be uncomfortable or self-conscious about. And really, there's so much, just the fact that we have hair on our heads, the fact that we Mm -hmm. can eat food and we have food and we can enjoy and be indulgent. And for the most part, you know, it doesn't make us sick. Adri, you have issues with dairy, but you're able to take a pill and still eat dairy, right? Like that's something to be grateful for. <laughs> I am for. grateful for dairy. <laughs> I don't know grateful what I would do without dairy. <laughs> Plug in all of the things today, right? Um, so I don't know. I feel like gratitude is a game changer as far as number one, just loving life two, being happy. And three, it is probably the biggest, fastest, easiest thing that you can do to attract more goodness into your life and shift your energy. If you're feeling negative, what are your so let thoughts? Let me ask you something yeah, really fast. Um, so we did touch on that. There are always things we can be grateful for, but I don't know about you. What about when you're not feeling it? What if, you know, sometimes I'm in a place where I don't feel like being grateful or I don't feel like what I have is enough. Do you have any suggestions for turning that around or for challenges when you're feeling challenged? Absolutely. And you're right. I, and I'm, I'm really glad that you asked that question, Adria, because I want, I want our listeners to know that we want to be 100% authentic on this podcast. We're not here to act like the whole world is rainbows and butterflies and unicorns because Yeah, we can have all of that, but even as positive and happy as we are and want to be, we're still going to have bad days. We still are going to struggle. We're still going to slip up. And I think it's important to talk about that and that piece when we're talking about the law of attraction, because I don't want people to think that our lives are like absolutely perfect and everything's wonderful. And all you have to do is just smile and be happy and everything is happy all the time because it's, it does work like that, but it's not realistic to think that you're going to be able to maintain that forever. So you're right. Just like I said, sometimes it's forcing yourself to do it. So thank you for that question, number one. And I hope that our listeners understand that when we come on and we have conversations about how we can attract things into our lives, how we can do it easily, I think it's important to also talk about that, you know, there are going to be challenges sometimes and it is a learning process and it's, it's as easy as just doing it, but sometimes it's so easy. It's also hard to do it. And Mm -hmm. so I think we, I think we want that to be a, a piece of the conversation. So circling back to your question, you know, what if you're not feeling it? What if you're just not feeling good about yourself? You know, what can you do and how can you focus on that? And you know, I have a lot of thoughts and some of my thoughts will probably be total episodes, um, separate episodes, but just the first few things that come to my mind is number one, I think when it comes to gratitude, it's important to try and make that part of your daily habit. Meaning personally, every night as I'm falling asleep, I lay in bed and as I'm starting to drift off, I try and focus on gratitude every single night. I just lay in bed and I think about what I'm grateful for until I fall asleep. And then in the morning, I usually have my alarm set about 20 minutes before I actually need to get out of bed. And so when my alarm goes off, I wake up, I make sure I am awake. And then I sit and I 
with my eyes open because <laughs> I would just end up falling back asleep. <laughs> yes. I do sit and I, I kind of just look around and I think about how grateful I am for my bed and my house and uh, whatever is like in my view, I start thinking about gratitude and it gets me in that mode where then I can extend f- beyond what I can see because now I'm, I'm focused on it. So for me personally, I am now in the habit of s- focusing on gratitude first thing in the morning and the very last thing at night. So that doesn't really impact what you just said, other than if you already are in the habit of doing it, number one, you're going to be more likely to do it. So it's creating that habit, number one. But number two, I think the first piece when you're really not feeling it, and this will apply to not just gratitude, but anything, is recognizing how you're feeling. First of all, acknowledging that you're in a a negative space. And being honest with yourself, look, and sometimes we want to stay there, right? Sometimes we want to be a victim for a little while and that's okay too. As long as we don't permanently stay there, it's okay to have a bad day every now and again, but sometimes, and most of the time when we're there, we want to be able to pull ourselves out and we just don't know how. And so it's like, I know I'm feeling bad. I know I'm sitting around feeling sorry for myself and I don't want to stay here because I know it's not doing me any good. And it just feels crappy. And quite frankly, I just want to feel better. And so I think what it, the way to do that is to start thinking about things that do feel better. And maybe you're sitting around feeling sorry for yourself because maybe you're not losing the weight that you want, or it's not coming off as quickly as you'd like, or maybe you're feeling sorry for yourself because you're seeing someone else have progress faster than you are, or, you know, and it's, it may not be anything physical, but I'm using that as an example because sometimes just shifting your thoughts away from that topic and finding something you can be grateful for. Because I'll tell you what, if you're feeling fat and you're looking in the mirror and you're like, Ugh, I don't like myself, it might be really hard for you to be like, but at least I have skinny ankles. <laughs> at least I have eyebrows. <laughs> That might be unrealistic to like jump all the way from like feeling terrible about your body to feeling like, oh, but at least I have these things. I've got a really great personality, right? But it is easy to sit there and feel like, ugh, I'm not really unhappy with my body. But you know what? I am so grateful for the temperature outside today. It's beautiful. I'm so grateful that I have family that loves me and supports me and doesn't judge me. And I am so grateful that I have a job and I can pay my bills and I'm not stressed, you know, and sometimes it's literally just shifting the thought away from the thing that you don't like or are unhappy with and focus on something completely unrelated. So, you know, you do need to and should find ways to be grateful for your body and your looks. And, you know, we want to, we want to find that space where we're happy with ourselves and we appreciate the body that we have because it's a gift, right? And we do, we have so many things that other people don't have. There are people that are missing limbs. There are people that can't grow hair. There are people that, you know, have terrible, terrible allergies. There are people that you know, are allergic to the sun. I mean, there's just amazing things that our bodies do. Each of us individually, we all have different things that we should find time and space to be grateful for those things. But going back to what you said, there's times when we just feel bad. And maybe when we're feeling bad, isn't the time to sit and be thankful that we're not allergic to the sun, right? (laughs) Maybe it's the time to think about how grateful that we are, that we have a roof over our head and food in our bellies and gas in our car or whatever the case may be, you know, shifting the, the energy and the conversation away from the item that we're feeling negative about just to change, change our vibration, change what we're attracting. And just, you know, I'll tell you what, the more time that you spend thinking about how much goodness there is, number one, you'll never run out. You'll never run out of things to be grateful for. I can tell you that from experience. I have tried. I have tried to just write everything I'm grateful for, and it never ends. That list has never ended. (laughs) But you'll never run out, but it just feels so good. It shifts you from feeling bad or feeling like you need something to feeling like you have everything. And you do. And that's a that's a key point. I'm actually glad that this is this conversation is going in this direction because. 
we named our podcast Attract It With Ease. And there's a big reason that we named it that way. And I'm sure we'll talk about this over and over again through various episodes. But one of the keys to the law of attraction, one of the huge things that I've learned that is not emphasized enough is that we need to be easy when we want something. We have to take the pressure off of it. We have to shift our emotion and energy from, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, I really need this. I need this to work out. Mm -hmm. Please, please God, please universe, please source, please. Like, I just really need this right now. Please bring it to me, which is one energy to, oh, I am so grateful for this. And I love that person. And I'm so happy about this. And I really appreciate that this worked out for me and that this is coming together and that these people are in my life, that those two energies are night and day different. And so gratitude is part of that ease. When you're focusing on what you have, instead of not focusing on what you don't have, you've shifted that whole energy. You've taken it from needing something and saying, I want this. I want to lose weight. I want to grow my hair. I want to be prettier. I want a better job. I want a a different relationship. I want somebody to love me to the complete opposite, which is, oh, I love my family and I appreciate my children. And I love the weather outside. And I love that the sun is shining and I can feel the warmth on my skin. And I'm so pleased that I have a warm house. It feels cozy. I can decorate the way that I want. I have a nice, comfortable bed. I have food in my refrigerator. Like that's a whole different emotion to go from needing something to feeling like you have everything. And it maybe you don't have to feel like you have everything, but I promise you when you start listing out everything you have, you're going to realize you pretty much have everything. Most of us have everything yeah. we need, right? We're very, very blessed, yeah. In so, ways that it's easy to take for granted. It's so easy to take for granted. And that's that's the one thing that I really love about consciously taking time to focus on gratitude is when you dedicate time, you know, you could just say, I'm going to take 10 minutes today and just sit about and think about what I'm grateful for, or even just, you know, take a few minutes to write down some things that we're grateful for. I really feel like it causes you to expand just from, from, like I said, the easy things to be like, oh, I love that. That was awesome. Thank you to really thinking about all the things that we take for granted. Like you said, hot water. When was the last time anybody really said thank you for hot water? (laughs) When I first moved into my tiny house, I had no hot water for months. Literally had to boil it just to have hot water. So it's huge to be like, you know what? I love being able to have hot water, take a hot shower. You know, when was the last time that we appreciated having electricity? To be able to flip a switch and the light comes on. You know, that's Mm -hmm. amazing to charge our phones. Guess what? Our phones die. We can recharge them. We can recharge them on almost anywhere. We can recharge it from our car, from a restaurant. You know, like we have portable battery chargers. Like when was the last time we expressed gratitude for that? What about Wi-Fi, internet? You know, we definitely get frustrated when it's not working or it's not available. Like we'll, we'll point that out. We'll definitely like draw attention to that. But how about the opposite? How about being grateful that there's Wi-Fi? being grateful that that technology is even a thing, you know, I'm grateful for my refrigerator keeps my cheese cold for my cheese omelets. And there's just so many things. Oh my goodness. I I, honestly, this whole episode could go on for hours because we could probably just, like I said, we would never run out of all of the things that we are grateful for. But I love having the conversation with you because you've mentioned some things that I haven't thought about in a very long time that you're absolutely right that I'm grateful for. And I think, you know, sometimes just telling people that you're grateful, you know, gets them thinking about what they're grateful for. Or just like we did this starting off this episode you know, asking someone, what are you grateful for today? Mm -hmm. So do you have any final thoughts on this topic? No, I'm just grateful that we have this conversation. (laughs) I'm grateful too. So just as we promised, we have 
a easy, fun action item for our listeners to start implementing what we've talked about today. So Adria, we mentioned that we put together the first 10 episodes as a jump start module to help people just get started right off on the right foot with implementing the law of attraction into their lives. All 10 of our first episodes or the first 10 episodes, we're focusing on some of the big key things that you can easily implement into your life that will make working the law of attraction work for you and make it easy and fast and just kind of get you started off real quick. So make sure that you download and subscribe to all 10 episodes. But we also said in episode one that if they're interested in a workbook, because we realize most listeners are probably driving in their car right now. They may be working out and they're probably not sitting with a piece of paper in front of them to make notes, notes. <laughs> write down what they're grateful for. Small podcast. Like, <laughs> 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 right? Okay. We're, we're going to change how people listen to podcasts. No, we, we understand that you're going to come away with all these great ideas and good intentions. And that if we don't give you the tools to help you implement these things, that's all they'll ever be is good ideas and intentions. So we have put together a workbook that you can download from our website, attractitwithease.com. It's free. You can download it, print it out. It can be black and white. Don't worry. You don't need a color printer, but it will give you worksheets for all 10 of the first episodes so that it will, number one, remind you what we talked about, but number two, give you some place to actually work on the action items that we're giving. So the action item for today from episode two on your worksheet or in your notebook, wherever you want, we want you to write down 10 things that you're grateful for. 10. And then Adria, there's a second piece to that. Do you want to tell our listeners the next part? Yes. Um, Don't just write down what you're grateful for, but take a minute and think about why you're grateful for those things and write that down as well. Try to really feel the emotion and connect with those things. I love that. And you know what? We didn't talk about that piece yet. So let's just hit on that real briefly. It's wonderful to be grateful. And just taking the time to list off all the things we're grateful for is more than most people do most of the time. But where the power really comes in and where the emotion comes in and the emotion is what affects our vibration and what we're putting out into the universe. So we really want to feel what we can, especially when we're focused on positive things. But where the emotion comes in is not just being like, oh, I really appreciate my warm bed. It's why? Why do I appreciate my warm bed? Well, I appreciate my warm bed because there are some people that don't have a bed. And I have slept in on a mattress with no blankets before. And I appreciate how warm and comfortable and cozy it feels to be wrapped up and be in a safe space. I appreciate having a bed and not having to sleep on the floor. You know, it's really getting into Mm -hmm. why, why do you appreciate that? Why are you grateful for that? So once again, the action item is to come up with 10 things you're grateful for. 10 should be easy. If you want to continue on, write as many as you feel you have time for, because just get, you really just want to get those juices flowing, really get into that mode of gratitude, but come up with at least 10. And I guarantee you, you can rattle off 10 off the top of your head. You've probably been thinking about some of those as you've been listening to the things that Adrian and I are grateful for. But come up with 10, write them down. Once you have your list, go back to each one of those items and write down why. Why are you grateful for your significant other? Why are you grateful for your kids? Why are you grateful for your job? Why are you grateful for your car? Why Mm -hmm. are you grateful for food in your refrigerator? The why is where the emotion is. And we really want to get into a state of feeling happy, feeling good, feeling like things are always working out for us and we have all of the things that we need. We really would like some other things. We'd like some things that we don't have. We'd like to change some things. But for the most part, we're taken care of and life is pretty good. So that's our takeaway or your action item. 
download the workbook so that you can start working on that. And then just as a reminder, we want our listeners to download and subscribe. We've got 10 episodes right away for you to download all 10 because it's a jumpstart module that go together with the workbook. But download them, subscribe. And then of course, we would love it if you would leave us a review. And like we said, once a week this year, Every single week, we're going to select one person, so 52 people throughout the year that have left us reviews. We will draw names, and we will give you a bracelet with your theme for the year, your word for the year, engraved on the bracelet so that you can wear it and that so you can just remember what it is that you're trying to work towards, what your goal, your theme is for the coming year. So... Leave us some feedback. Yes, we'd love to hear from our listeners. Well, Adria, I really appreciate you chatting with me today about gratitude. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for this podcast. And part of the reason that I'm grateful is I feel like it's really bringing us closer. And I think it's fun to not only be able to do this as sisters, but to be able to dig deep into some of these conversations and pick each other's brains about it. So thank you for doing this with me. I appreciate you. Thank you. I love it. I love you. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Sounds great. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.